Hello and welcome to my channel, Making Crafts. Today I am back working on my Vintage Spring Journal. And this is the journal where I'm using the, the um, digitals from Bontic Vintage Designs. And this is just some of the pages that's going to be in my journal. I thought I would show you because you may have missed the previous video. I do have a video before this one just getting started on the journal. And I'll show you the papers and some of the things in the kit. So today I'm going to be making journaling cards. So I've pulled out some of my neutral collage that I have already created. And what neutral collage is, is when you're collaging, I will take like a dictionary page or a book page, and then I'll bring out my scraps of all different colors, of neutral colors, and I will just, you know, tear them up and piece them together to create a, um, you know, a collage. And so this is just some samples of things I would use. So hold on to your scraps because they are perfect for this type of thing. If you don't have scraps, then you could just start with book pages and start tearing them up and make collage as well. But this was just some that I have used my scraps and just sat down and collage. And there were bits and pieces here left over. So what I'm going to do is um, create some journaling cards of these. And then if I need more, I can create some more collage. So to get started, let's start with this bigger piece. I have some um, Tim Holtz. Oops, I got paper everywhere. Distressed crayons, and I have several different colors here that I'm gonna be using today. I've also got my wa water bottle that I'm gonna be using, and I'm going to pull out a baby wipe as well, and I just use inexpensive baby wipes for this. So I wanna look at some of the images that I want to use from my um, journal, and these are just some of the little pages. They're actually pages, half pages, in the kit and what I did was I just went in my printer and chose to print wallet size pictures and so it prints a whole sheet of, um, of these but small like this and I've gone ahead and cut these out and I've used and I'll show you later what all I've used to trim these out because we'll get back to these I'm just looking at the colors in them and kind of laying it out to get an idea so I can see that I have some blues and pinks and yellows um, you can see here there's more blues, pinks, yellows, and browns, so let and some blacks. So let's just lay those aside over there, and then we're gonna look at our markers, or not markers, our distress crayons, and we're going to see which ones we want to use. So like, for example, there's not a lot of orange, so I probably wouldn't use the orange, but the yellow would be a good one to use. The um, greens would definitely be good to use. And let's see here. I think this pink is a little too bright. I might bring it in later, but let's just bring in this darker purplish pink. And then this one, I think, would go. And the blues. Okay. And then we'll go from there. I'll bring in this blue as well. So we're probably going to use most of them. So let's just see. Let's just start marking on our papers. I'm just going to come in. So that one's more of um, kind of a burgundy red, but that's okay. So I'm just going and marking randomly around my collage. And if you notice, I am kind of following the edges of where some of the papers meet. You don't have to, that's just what I'm doing. And then let's see, I'm gonna bring in some yellow. And just scattering about the paper. And you just have to get started somewhere. And so once you get started, you'll start think, you know, seeing places that you need it. And then, um, We'll come back and add more as we need it, but I'm just gonna get started adding it. And I know it doesn't look like much now. You're like, what in the world is she doing? But once we blend these in, I think it'll look better. I know I practiced on, practiced on a piece yesterday and it did look better. I really liked how it turned out, but I didn't use a piece this big. So we'll have to see how that works out. So this is more of a purple. I didn't use this color yesterday. So I may have to bring in some of my pink because none of these are really a good pink color. So let's bring in a little bit of that pink. So I'm going to use all the colors, I believe. And I know this looks crazy right now. Let's see here. Where do I want more? And then we're going to bring in some of the blues because there's a lot of blues in this kit. And I love blues. I love this turquoise color. I'm not sure the name of it, but it reminds me of turquoise or teal. And then we'll bring in some more of this kind of a deeper blue. Kind of blend those there. Let's see here. And the 
bring in some of this. I know, look at this. It looks crazy right now, don't it? Don't click off yet because it will. <laughs> it should look better in a moment. It'll look more like a journaling card in a moment. So let's see. I'm just going to randomly start adding some colors, the greens. There we go. So now we're going to take our baby wipe, and it's still wet. It's just, you know, but really just damp. And we're just going to start just pressing and smearing the um, stress crayons and kind of blending, blending them together some and just kind of blending them out. And if we need to, we can add water, but right now I just want to use my distress, my um, baby wipe to, on the distress crayons. And so we're just going to blend them. I do want to get rid of the line, so I will have to just keep pressing in um, and then out. And in the background is the dogs again today, like always. So just hopefully you can overlook them. Uh, it's it's way too early. I'm gonna wet this baby wipe just a little bit. It's late here under the lights, and I think dried a little bit. It is way too early for their meal time. But apparently they think one of them thinks it's time to eat. It's the uh, the larger one, the basset hound. She would snack all day, I do believe. I think she would just eat and eat and eat. So I'm just gonna add a little water there. So I can smear that out. Under these lights, it does possibly dry a little quicker. So we'll just spritz it all around. And then take our baby wipe again and just kind of blend it all out. And that's okay with that page just turn, you know, doing that. I don't mind because this is going to be more of a um, grungy look when we get done. Because this is just our first step. So it's just the first step in many that we're going to do to these, this collage. So that's looking looking good. We just still need to add some more um, colors in. I'm just looking to see what else I want. So I want to bring in some more of the blue. There. Need to bring in more of these blues. Maybe here. And then we'll take our baby wipe again and just blend it out. Now you could use um, other things. If you don't have the distressed crayons, you could use your Stabilos. You could use watercolors. And I'll show you what Stabilos are because I have mine laying out so I can use those in a moment as well. So we have these. You could use these. The Stabilo um, Woodies 3-in-1. And we will use those in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and start some of it. So we're just going to kind of add it in in different places just at the dark and then we'll take and you can blend it out as well with your um, baby wipe so you see you can do like that one of my favorite colors in this stabilos is this blue here so we might just add some of it around as well and just I just add little like lines in to start blending This paper's a little different right there. It doesn't want to blend as well. So we just kind of do that and then blend around. We're just going to keep adding color like that. And like down here doesn't have a lot of color, so we could just kind of, you can just color it in like that. Then I'm going to bring this in a little bit more here. And here and then just blend it out are pearlescent some of these are so they've got a shimmer to them somewhat I 
I don't know if all of them are, if all distressed crayons are that way or not. But they're fun to use. So down here we need to blend out a little more. So let's add in a little pink there. And just blend that out a little bit more. And just look around, you know, different places. This is um, this is what I'm having trouble with here when I'm rubbing. That has actual plants in the paper. That was just handmade paper. So it might have not been the best for this. So this is quite messy right now. Oh, that needs to be a little bit more blue in there. Let me see this one. So just add that like that. And then just, you know, kind of blend it out. Just gotta trust the process. Okay, so now let's, we can bring these back in. Let's go ahead and add some stamping to this. So I have these that look kind of like um, postage stamp type stamps. I'm just going to stamp some of those and I'm just gonna stamp them randomly around and I'm gonna stamp them off the edge and you know, different places. remember we're going to cut this up into um, journaling cards so they're not going to all you know be together and then this is just another postage type stamp and this is just a set that I got off of Amazon I think so I don't know I think it might have been given to me as a gift or I may have ordered it I don't remember now it's been I've had it for a long time Let's see. So then, this aside, I have these stamps from In Love Arts. And so they're like um, like a background stamp. So I'm just going to, this one isn't really crisp when you stamp it. It's, it's just kind of a blurred image, but I like it. You can kind of see it's kind of like old wallpaper. So there we go. Just gonna add it in different places. And let's see, maybe we'll add a little bit more. And then here is another little background stamp that's in this set, so I'm just gonna add it. So it's starting to get messier and messier, but I lo I'm loving the look. Um, do I want to add, this one has some um, script. I'm not sure if I want to add the script or not. I'm going to put a little bit and see. We can add just a little and see what happens. Kind of in some of these areas that don't have words. I do like that. On some of this notebook paper here and some of the blank pages. Just add a little bit of script. So now I'm gonna take my Stabilo and we're gonna make some splashes. So all I need to do, I'm gonna lay it aside over here so that I don't get spraying on my um, paper. It's tripping a little. And then we're just going to flick off. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. I might not have enough on it. So I'm gonna get it good and wet where it's dripping and then we're just going to, you can see, make some splashes onto our paper. And I'll just add a little bit more. Now you could use paint. You don't have to use your Stabilos or anything like that. You can use, oops, that was a big drop, wasn't it? But you can use paint, you can use whatever you want to for your splashes. I just like using my Stabilo, it makes it, it's just easy. Now that big drop, I will do something about that, I think. So there we have some splashes on it. And this one, I think I'm just going to kind of dab it so it kind of goes in. And then I'm just gonna take this wet Stabilo and go around and just add some of this to below and then you can take and you know kind of smear it out with your finger now 
this, some of this will get trimmed off because we are going to, um, you know, cut this, but we'll just see. And then we can add more as we need to. I just love to play like this. Okay, so now we're gonna trim them down into smaller segments so we can see um, how it looks and if we wanna add more color or what we wanna do. So I'm just going to, let's see, trim it down. I think I want this to be a journaling card that is about four inches wide, maybe. I might go four and a half for this one. And then maybe four and a half by three and a half. They can all be different sizes. I might leave that one that size. Let's do this one, five. And then we will trim off the end here, kind of square everything up. And then let's see, what if we cut it down the middle here? Or eyeball the middle, there we go. And then this one will square it up a little bit. Oops, that one didn't do so good. And then we can just trim this one down to be, maybe, maybe these will be tags. We'll see. So then when you get them closer, you know, smaller like this, then you can kind of see what you have. And you can get a clean baby wipe. And you can just start, you know, blending, because that was too much of a line there. And I'll bring in some more of that and just blend it around. Set that aside to dry for a minute. And let's let's do the um, journaling cards first. So we see here it's got a little loose piece. I'm just gonna bring in some glue and fix that. We may have glued something over it anyway, but we'll just fix that. And then, there we go. And you're just going to have to overlook my fingers because they are going to be messy for this video. This is kind of a messy project, but I love getting messy and crafting. So up here we got we have just some. Let's add some blue in with that. Kind of color in some of that. You kind of just have to look at it and see what you kind of you know what you want on it and what looks good to your eye. So just adding that there, and then I'm going to come back with the black kind of go around my edges till I get it like I like it don't know if I just need a big blob there or what maybe I'll take my Baby wiping, just kind of grunge that out just a little bit. Then we have that yellow that needs to be blended a little bit more. And then we may have to add some more colors depending on which image we want to put on it. So we have these images. So I showed you earlier these images from the um, from the kit. And so what they are, they're called half pages, and they're supposed to be, you know, half a five and a half, half of a five and a half. Excuse me, half of an eight and a half by 11, which would be five and a half by four and a quarter, right? But what I did was I told the um, my printer that I wanted to print, um, let's see, what was it? I think it was nine images, and I wanted to print them wallet size. So then it just um, printed a bunch of them to one page. And so I went through and cut them out, and I'm trying to clean my fingers as I'm talking. And what I cut them out with is this. It's, it's a We Are Memory Keepers. Um, I've had it for quite some time. I've told about it in another video years ago, but I don't even remember I got it now. But if I can find it online, if you know what, if I can find it on Amazon, I will just share that on my Amazon store. It's actually not a store. They call it an Amazon store, but what it is is it's a way for me to um, link up. It is affiliate link, but it's a way for me to link up 
um, products that I've gotten from Amazon or products like this where I don't know where I got it from or if it even exists anymore. And um, that way, when you ask me, a lot of times I don't really have a link for you. That way, it can, you can just always, in all of my videos, there is an, um, let me do that again. There's an Amazon link where you can go and see in my Amazon store a lot of the products that I use. And so, if you do purchase through that link, um, it does help out my channel a little bit, but um, it doesn't cost you anything extra. But it does help me out if you use that link to shop. So let's see here. But mainly, I've never really used it that much for others shopping. I've never paid attention to that to see what it really does. Um, mainly what I do is I use it to link up stuff so it makes it easier. Because I could start a blog or something to show you the um, pages. I mean, not pages, excuse me. Show you the products that I use. But... I'm just not ready to do a blog. It's just, it's a lot of extra work that I'm not ready to do right now. So maybe in the future, but not now. So here are the images. And so you can see, let me see if you can, with my dirty hands, you can see. And earlier, you got, you're gonna find all pieces of glue on me. You're probably gonna see in the video. I tried to get it all off, but my um, Fabri-Tac, the whole thing come off when I went to squeeze the glue. I was gluing something on the whole lid come out and a bunch just came out and I was covered in it. So I've got these images. I just need to figure out which one, like this one's got a lot of blues. I think that would look good on there. Yes. And so what I want to do though, is I want to go through and darken those edges. And I'm trying to decide, do I just want to take, um, let me show you my, should I just ink it with this or should I ink it with my Stabilo? I'm not really sure. Let's just try this first. See if I get the look I'm wanting. If not, I'll come back in with my Stabilo. This might be an easier way to get the black on the edges. Just kind of want to frame it out. You're not going to show up that much anyway because it's such a dark blue. But you can see that at the top there it does. And it's just going to help it pop, I think, on the page there. And let me look around. I had um, several things pre prepared ahead of time. I had cut out some butterflies, so I'll show you what it is. So uh, on my channel, you've seen me open boxes before, and I don't know which box this was. It was from Your Creative Studio, and it was... Um, it's butterfly stickers in was in that box, but I didn't like the white around it, so I sat down and I cut out some for today without the white, and I think those are gonna look cute. I do think where I did cut the white off, you can see some, I'm just gonna go back with my black ink and just darken the edges a bit, and then we can add this to um, the page. I like that. So for this one, I think that's how I'm gonna leave it. Um, I'm not gonna add anything. I had some ideas how I want to add different things, but for this one, it's gonna be like that, but just stick around and see how I do um, all of these, and I'll have some different ideas for you. I'm trying to decide what glue I want to use. I don't know if I wanna try my Fabri-Tac anymore, but this one's not coming out. I'm gonna try it. If that lid comes off again when I squeeze it, then um, I may have to put it in a different bottle. I don't know what happened. I don't know how the lid was loose. But when I went to squeeze it like this, the lid fell off and globs went everywhere. So I'm just going to add this one to this. And you see how we added all those colors, but it really didn't matter. Um, this one has a little bit of too much black at the top there, but that's okay. Each one can be a little different. But it doesn't really matter where your colors went now that you can see. It kind of all just blends once you put your decoration on. Now this one is going to be the test. Can I get the sticker back off? Okay, there we go. That didn't take that long. So then I'll just add that there. And I did bring out some other things to use, so I'll show you that in a moment. I, um, let me get the lid for this word. Did I lay it? So I did bring out my, the botan, botanical sticker one as well because some of these um may, all of these may not go just in that journal i have other journals i want to create so i don't know yet i'll decide as i go let's see here so i like that one i think that turned out pretty so we'll have to back it but i'm trying to decide i want to think about it first before i back it because i may want to stitch um around it and then add the paper on the back 
because if I decide to stitch around any of this. So I'm just gonna lay it aside for now and then maybe at the end we'll come back and put all the backing paper on together. So let's, depends on how much time we have. So let me lay that one aside and then we will, um, let's work on another one. So let's see here, we got this one. And take a sip of my coffee, my iced coffee. And that way we can be deciding what we're gonna, I think that one would look really pretty on it. Or this one looks good. Or let's see, let's just go through here. See what all we have. That one would be pretty. And we have this one. Oh my goodness, I wish you were here to be, I could hear you say, okay, that, oh, I like that one. Let's go with that one. And then maybe, that one look good with the blue butterfly. Maybe the orange one. But I wanna do something a little different. Let's see, I have, I have scraps over here on the side of um, canvas. <clears throat> excuse me, canvas, and um, I want to use some of it, and I'm thinking, let's see here, let me find my scissors, what if we just stuck a little canvas, like on the edge of this photo, have it sticking out the edge of that photo, kind of like that, maybe a little bit more, I don't know, I'm trying to decide, or I could put it at the top here, Let's go ahead and ink that while we think about it. I do want to add fabric to some of these, and I'm just using um, Memento Tuxedo Black ink. It's probably my favorite black ink. I use it on everything. So that made it pop a little bit there, and let's just ink around this little butterfly and think about it. So what I'm thinking is, I do want to add just a little bit. I think I need to put some black around the edge, just a little bit. Maybe not as much as the last one. We could try it just using this. Let's see what that looks like. And like I said, I may stitch them later too. I don't know. So let's see if we put that there and our butterfly goes here. We can always come back and add fabric around the edges or lace. Let's swim in it. Before I glue this on, let's take a look and see what kind of lace I've got in my little scrap bin here. And I may just have to pause and go over to my cabinet and see what lace I have in it as well. So we do have just another piece of this. That may look cute up there like that. It adds a little texture. I just like adding, um, you know, a little bit of texture or something to these. Here's some flowers. Those may be cute to add. I don't know. I've got strings and things on them. So I think I'm just gonna add this right here. I think I like that. Just for this one, I'm gonna add that like that. It's just one journaling card. Shouldn't be that hard of a decision, should it? So I'm just gonna add my fabric tag. Be real generous with that. And like I said, I may come back and stitch around some of these. I'm not quite sure yet what I wanna do with them. I think stitching would be cute on them and would make them even better. But you don't have to stitch. If you don't have a sewing machine, you wouldn't have to stitch them. Okay, so that's fine. So I'm just going to take this butterfly and stick it on. And then, what we're going to do next, let's, let's do one without using these, um, these, oops, it's trying to stick up these images. Let's use one just using um, some of those stickers from my botanical sticker book. So that's the magic of TV. <laughs> you did not have to watch me suffer through trying to get that sticker back off. I don't know why I struggle with stickers so bad, but I do. And like I said, we're gonna back these, so I'm gonna lay it aside. So let's pull out one. Let's move all of these cards out of the way. We can use those for something else. And let's take and see, which one do we have here? We have this one, and we have a larger one here. We have the tags. Let's look at our stickers and see what we, what sticker we're wanting to use. And then, I don't know if I showed you this. This is the botanist, I said botanical. It's the botanist sticker anthology. I've had it for a long time. 
I guess they're still, you know, in publication. I guess you can still get them. I got it off of Amazon, so I'll put this on my Amazon uh, list as well. But, um, but yeah, I've never, it doesn't look like I've took hardly any stickers out of it. I never seem to pull it out. I'm wondering about this one on um, this. We may have to add a little bit more pink to this to make it work, but let's just take this off. The only thing, my only concern is, is the white around these. I didn't really want the white around the butterfly, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about the white around the flowers, but we'll just see. We may have to ink them or something. I'm trying to get it without tearing them. There we go. Let's just try this one on this. We'll see which, it's either gonna fit on this one. It's gonna be too big for that one. It would probably fit best on this one. I'm going to go for it because then I'm going to come back though and I'm going to add some more pink because I feel like it needs a little bit more pink on this to blend with this sticker. I'll just add it there. Okay, now I'm going to bring in, let's cover my glue up real quick. Let's bring in just a little bit of these colors. I'm thinking this one might be a good one. Yeah, that looks like it's blending with that. And I do wonder, this is a little damp still. May have to get another one out because I got all the black all over it when I made a mess of my hands. But I'm wondering, hmm. Just kind of get that corner there. So you can always come back and add a little bit more if you want to to blend with what you're doing. I wonder if I put a little bit of this um, distressed ink what color would I put if I put some distressed ink on here what if I put just a little bit of the blue let's just add a little bit here and see how that looks I'm just adding little dots in and then kind of smeared it around to see if I like that or not kind of dulls it down a little bit and this like I said this book has so much um, this digital has a lot of blues in it, so I think it would just pop with some of the blues in the book if I did that. Kind of like that. I don't think you can really tell on camera that I did anything different, but it does dull it down for me. I don't know. I'm just going to add a little bit more here. Just add a little bit more, and then I think we need a little bit of pink. Or maybe a little bit of this one down here in the corner. I love to just sit and play with um, different things like this. The thing of it is, it doesn't have to be, there's no rules you have to follow, just, just play. Let's bring in some of the black stabilo on the edges here. Kind of get that smudge look. down here okay I'm liking that I might bring a little bit more let's bring a little bit more green in down here and you can use your finger to smear them as well the baby wipe um, keeps you cleaner, and I think it smears a little easier with the baby wipe because it's damp, so it makes it smear a little bit better. But I think that's cute. Or pretty. I don't know. I like it. And I think when we add the stitching around this one, it would be even prettier. I do have a loose piece here, so I'm just going to find my glue and glue it down. See if I can get enough out of this bottle. It's just a little bit coming out. I need to refill it, I think. I think it's why it's just harder to squeeze. And I've got an idea. What if we bring in a Tim Holtz word? 
don't know if we need to bring in the white or the black. We're going to do creativity takes courage if the white works. I think that works. Now do we want to put up here or down here? I'm thinking right here to break some of that up. Okay, and just press it down. And I like that one. So once again, we're probably, do we need a butterfly on this one or not? These are back ends. I don't know where my butterflies are. You all are probably seeing them. Here they are. I don't know if a butterfly would work with this one. Mm, it might help. I might want a different color one. If so, I'll have to pause and trim it out first. Cause, so I'm just going to ink around it a little bit to see before we see how it looks. Because I think it just needs a little bit of um, the ink to kind of frame it out. And then we'll do it like that. I think that would be pretty, so we're just going to add that to Okay, so let's do a tag. We'll lay some tags out and then we'll look through our book and see if we see one that goes good with that one. And I am keeping in mind the color scheme in this um, journal as well. So that's what I'm kind of looking for is flowers that kind of remind me of the papers in this journal. So that's one thing I'm trying to figure out too. I'm wondering how that one would look or is it too small? That one's too large, but that is like one of the flowers I think that's in the papers. Let's try this one on I'm thinking on this one, on this um, tag. Let's see. Let's just pull it off. Oh, goodness. I've got to be really careful so I don't destroy it. And then let's see how that would look and where that could go on here. Thinking kind of like that. Yeah, and then we may have to trim it off a little bit. And then I was noticing when I was, um, I guess this is like a little bee, a little fly. Maybe put that at the top there. That might be cute. We'll just trim this off here. And let's see. Let's see if we can make that blend in a little bit. Let's add a little yellow to it. Just trying to keep it on the white, but it's going to get on the flower some too. And then let's blend it in. It kind of comes, a lot of it comes off because the sticker is slick, but you can see it there in the background some. And we'll just see if I can come add a little bit to that B as well. I like that. And so this is rolling up. I think I'll just try to pull that off. There we go. Now it does need a little bit more pink on the, could just come along the edge with a little bit of pink. And I think this color might be the color too. find my um, my punch to make the tags. This makes the tags so easy to make. I want to go ahead and do that before I start adding. I want to add some of, maybe I'll just ink it. Let's just add a little bit of black ink around the edges and see what that looks like. Most of the time I use brown, but for today, for these, I really want to use the black. I thought it looked better since we stamped everything in the background in black and, you know, um, a lot of the images and the the, hand, the writing and font and stuff is in black. So I think that makes it pop a little better. I do want to come in that corner there. Just come in some of the corners. So I went ahead and covered the backs of these. Some of them I used uh, cardstock, brown cardstock. 
I'll just show you the backs and then we'll look at the fronts. Some of them I just collaged some paper that I had left over. And then some of them, one of them I put a guest check on the back. And then there's another with cardstock. So let's turn them over and take a look. Because some of these we created together on camera, but some I created without you all. So that's one of them. And there's a tag. We have flower. I think we created this one together. I'm trying to remember. I don't think we created this one together. And then we have this one. This might be the first one we created together. I'm not sure. And then I have this one. I know I created this one on my own. I created this one yesterday when I was playing around with doing this project. And here's a tag I created. And then another journaling card. So I have all of these ready for my journal. And I don't know if they'll all go in the same journal or not. But if I need some tags and things, I'll have plenty made up. Well, I guess I should leave these laid out for you to see at the end so you can take a good look. Maybe I'll fix the camera so it can zoom in closer so you can see all the different ones that I created. Well, this is a super fun project. I hope that you'll give it a try. And if you do, let me know. Tag me on um, Instagram or Facebook. You can tag me at Making Craft Studio, and you can share yours with me. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.